So guys, we have some pretty incredible news and unexpected way out of left field. Mega Summer update coming soon, and this image kind of looks like it might be Mega Gyarados, like foreshadowing for Mega Gyarados because it's a water dark type. But they're, they're going to be making some changes to how Mega Evolutions work, and I've got a lot of comments asking me, how do I use my Mega Pokemon? I can't find it, you know, to set it in my deck, or I have the Evolution set, but I, I can't figure out how to evolve it. Well, you have to have EX and UX figures, and then you have to buy the plate. They're going to be changing that to where now you just set the Mega Evolution in your deck, but they're going to give you the plate for free. It's not going to count against your total number of plates, which I think is pretty awesome, but it could cause some problems in terms of trying to Mega Evolve twice in one duel with the same Pokemon. So you may be only able to do it one time. But they're not going to be implementing it just yet. And the only Mega form excluded from this is Mega Rayquaza because it learns, you know, the, the Meteor teachings teaches it a new move, the Dragon Ascent. Um, also, no new news on the security of our accounts, our game security. So I'd really like to see something new in terms of that. I've seen some tweets and some responses where they're basically going to just prevent anybody from using a support ID for recovering your account. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But these changes for the Mega Evolutions, it's going to be happening on the 16th at 159 UTC. Also, all the Mega Plates that you've bought, they're, they're going to be removing those from your case on the 16th at 159 UTC after the maintenance. And then whatever, however many gems you spent on accumulating all those plates, they're going to reimburse you. So I don't know if, you know, if you bought some of the mega plates during a sale, I don't know if they're going to know if you bought it at full, you know, price or if you got it at half price. But uh, either way, we're going to be getting our gems back, which is really, really good. So it's going to be a nice little stash of gems to spend on the next banner we have the silver moon hall you know get your three wins in it's over on wednesday i believe at 159 utc it said so get your your 15 karma and i get your three wins like the silver moon hall is a lot more fun now that we're able to use rare figures so you know get your wins get your karma and I, I i think it's worth it so real quick guys before we get into today's video i just wanted to take a quick look at a lot of these mega pokemon we have quite a few megas now and there's not that many that I feel like is worth it to, you know, dedicate two plate slots for that Mega. Outside of, like, Mega Ampharos, Mega Gengar, Mega Rayquaza. Like, there are some good Megas, but there's a lot of Mega Pokemon that we have, and we're not going to use them because it's not worth the two plate slots. You know, for the limited amount of turns. Now, the fact that we're going to be able to just set the evolution and use any one of these Megas for free, and it's not gonna count against our, our plate slots. We can still run max revives and long throws and double chance, goal block, things like that I think is huge. Now, ever since they added the ability to transform or fuse, I've been saying that we needed an expansion, and they were definitely gonna give us one. It's different than how I imagined, but this is our expansion. But guys, I have a pretty awesome video for you guys today, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump right into it. Okay. What's up guys, KDub175 back with another Pokemon Duel video. I have a pretty epic battle between Care Bear and myself. I'm using the Dragon deck and Care Bear is going to be using the Reggie deck. Now he has two long throw plates, which I'm going to show you his plates here real quick. But he has one of each Reggie, two Regigigas, and then a Shaman Skyform for that additional 1 MP off the bench. So two long throw and he also has a Metal Sphere. Um... So basically, the, the whole idea between having the two long throw is not for the Regigigas, but in case you get shut down, because it's so slow setting up. Same with my Dragon deck, you know, we're both really slow at setting up, so it's kind of one of those situations, if you get locked down, you're going to be able to long throw other Regis, try to use that lock-on marker ability, just like Regice tried to do to me by making me spin, and then if you hit the multi-blast, even if you get knocked out, you can take other Pokemon with you, so this is us testing it out. It happened a little while back and I never got it up onto the channel. So now he has a three MP Regigigas. That thing's a monster. And I would put my Noibat up against the Regigigas, but you're not gonna be able to move it. You know, you're not able to move it. You can't use long throw, max revive. You're, you're not able to use any type of ability to revive it. It's, it's really annoying. So we use a double chance and we get Whirlwind twice in a row. And I'm, I'm like, 
I struggle so hard to try to get a whirlwind on my Noibat. And then, of course, you know, Shaman Skyform is going to land the gold, and then we're going to land purple twice in a row. So I max revive. I'm going to come out again, and, like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to go after this, uh, this Shaman Skyform again. You know, try to uh, get this evolution off. Now we hit the white, but Shaman hit the Seed Flare. So now I got to hit a purple, anything but white. And, of course, so we burned up two double chance and a max revive, and then we just get knocked out both times feels bad it just makes it even worse whenever you double chance and then you spend the same attack both times so now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go meteoric teachings go into mega ray and uh we're trying we're gonna try to get rid of this regigigas multi-blast is gonna go off fortunately for us you know they haven't been able to get any uh lock on markers yet so our mega ray is definitely gonna knock out that regigigas no problem care bear is going to retreat one step with that reg ice gonna make a spin we spin a gold attack too bad he doesn't have his registeel registeel is the lock on gold reg ice is the lock on purple so uh hammer arm is gonna go off against our extreme speed look at that 211 damage this is like you can't you can't deal with that so we, we're in a pretty good position we're going to advance with our coco into the center set up a little bit of a trap and they're gonna move out he's gonna move over with his uh yeah his uh reggie rock and then his registeel and now he's in range with the registeel to try to put a lock on marker on our ray so that's why i go for the attack and we get the push aside so he's not gonna get a lock on just yet here comes regigigas push aside is not gonna work but uh, we're going to be able to do enough damage with our Dragon Pulse. As long as he doesn't get that 180 Hammer Arm, feels bad. He gets the Multi Blast again. And if he, you know, had some lock on markers, it, it would have been okay. You know, he could have uh, he could have freed up some space. But Long Throw is going to come in clutch. Getting that Registeel out, he's going to have to move over. We had a surround set up. Now we're definitely going to go in for the attack on this Sky Form. We have pretty good odds here. And we hit him this. Feels bad. <laughs> yeah. Feels feels really bad. So lock on gold. Gonna make a spin. We hit the uh, dragon ascent. Which used to be break energy. Still looks... Is that, yeah, it still looks like break energy. But I know we went meteoric teachings. And uh, there you go. Making a spin. We finally hit the gold. And now there's a lock on marker. So soon as they hit a multi-blast... Our ray is going to get knocked out, but we get the extreme speed into the explosion, and we're going to be able to get the knockout, still doing 180 damage. Like, that, like, I mean, that's tough to deal with. It really is. But another long throw. So having two long throw is actually pretty good. It's not bad at all. And lock on purple is going to go off, and nothing is going to happen just yet. And we're going to hit a dodge against that multi-blast. So we're in pretty good shape as of right now. We're in pretty good shape right now. We have only one Pokemon that has a lock-on marker, which is our Ray. But we have plenty of backup for that entry. So I'm going to back up with this Altaria. And he does get another lock-on marker with the purple spin from the Regice. So now both of the Pokemon on his entry points have lock-on markers. And if he gets a multi-blast, they're both going to get knocked out. Thunder Wave's going to go off, paralyze us. And um, I, I believe, yeah, we're just going to continue to battle here. And another Thunder Wave is going to go off. And I believe I just, yeah, go right back after him. And I didn't want to have my other Altaria next to mine because I didn't want to, you know, curse two Altaria. So, and we do hit the Parish Song, go figure. Now both of us are cursed, hoping that he doesn't knock me out before I'm able to scoop up. Thunder Wave is going to go off. Now, we do hit the D-Dance, and we're hitting for 160 damage. So, we could have potentially banished that uh, that Registeel, you know. But uh, he's going to move over, go for the attack on our other Altaria. Oh, man, he gets the Multi-Blast. Going to be able to knock out this Altaria, and our Ray, and our Drampa. Like, <laughs> that's insane. Getting a triple kill, essentially, with one attack. And then, you know, frees up both of his entry points, and Care Bear is right back into the game. 
going to max revive his Regirock. Now he has full defense. He has his Regigigas. You know, 3 MP still. Uh, it's just like, wow. So, you know, things were not looking good, but wow, they staged a comeback. And then Care Bear is going to hit a miss. We're going to hit our uh, Wild Charge for 99, and we are going to get that exclusion against the Registeel. So that's pretty good. That is definitely going to possibly change the outcome of the match, you know, depending on how some of these rolls go. Now I'm just looking to cycle here. Um, you know, I mean, if we could confuse the Regigigas, that wouldn't be the worst thing. Try to uh, prevent it from doing that 180 damage, but it's still not too bad confused. It's not that bad when it's confused. And we're going to be able to get the knockout on that Regirock. And now we're going to go ahead and bring Trampa out. Care Bear is going to attack here. Hammer Arm is going to go off into the Outrage. And we're going to be able to go neutral. Now we become confused. Now I'm 3 MP. So I'm going to kind of hightail it out of there. That Regigigas is only 1 MP. And now I'm trying to decide what do I want to do. You know, it's a, it's a tough situation. I'm going to go ahead and just bring Ray out. We could potentially fly and then get us around. Uh, but we are going to hit the extreme speed, which is going to be plenty to knock out that Regigigas. So, getting another Regigigas back. I'm going to go ahead and go Meteor Teachings. And uh, we're going to be able to just go ahead and advance toward Care Bear's side of the board, hopping right over our Altaria. Regigigas is coming out. Yeah, he doesn't want any part of our Mega Ray. Well, changes his mind. I guess he does. And uh, we actually hit the Dragon Ascent, which is only 170 damage. So, unfortunately, he didn't get the roll. It's a miss. He could have got the knockout, though. So, we're going to go right after the Shaman Skyform. Oh, we get the fly. I'm like, are you serious? Uh, that's the annoying thing with... with Rayquaza, Mega Ray, it's just like you're bound to hit the fly in some of the worst situations. You know, when like you need anything but fly and miss. I don't know. I mean, like, there has to be a counterbalance to them for how strong they are. Like, I get it. It's just like, man. It's like you just spend so many resources leveling these Pokemon up, and it's like you just hit that. That one attack you really don't want. But uh, we're going to be able to get the knockout on that Shaman Skyform. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over. Take the entry point. And now we're going to be able to move up with the Altaria. Lock on blue is going to go off. And both of us hit a blue attack. Like, oh my god. So now two of our Pokemon both have the uh, lock on markers. If they hit a multi-blast... Any one of these Reggies, we're, you know, going to get a double KO. So, I go in for the attack. We get knocked out anyway. Not that big of a deal. And then another multi-blast. Going to knock out our Altaria. Both of our Altaria. Because our other one up top there on the center corner had the, uh, had the lock-on marker. So, went from having him completely locked down to almost winning. To now, we're in a very, very tough position. And he is closing in on us quick. Closing in on us quick. Drampa's still 3 MP. And, uh, you know, looking to try to get a lucky knockout here. Oh, they, the Regigigas hits the miss, but we cannot land an attack. So now we're going to go Meteoric Teachings again. Like, such an awesome mechanic with this plate. I know a lot of people feel it's, like, really overpowered. And it is, but, you know, most of the time you're just going to hit fly anyway into a gold attack or into a surround so uh we're gonna get the knock out there just need to move up try to seal this off before this regigigas just like steamrolls us multi-blast is gonna go off no other pokemon has a uh, a lock on marker so nothing else to be knocked out drampa really need you to come through Ooh, we're both gonna hit a miss though so all right i'll take it we're gonna move up with ray his other Regigigas is out onto the field. It's only one MP though, and he's got his Reg Ice on the on the goal, so he's gonna move in for the attack here. Like, come on, Ray, we need a fly here now. Oh man, 
now we just have that base 140. We don't have either Altaria on the field, but we are going to get him out now. So Drampa, come on, we need that Dragon Pulse into the Outrage. There we go. We're going to shift, and it looks like the same miss that Care Bear got last time. So that's pretty unfortunate. We're going to go ahead and move up. And here comes Shaman, a sky form. We do have to be careful because, uh, yeah, well, I believe we can't get surrounded here. Because Drampa is a normal dragon type, I believe. And, yeah, so we're going to go in for another attack. Shift into the Outrage again. Going to be able to knock out that Shaman sky form. So now Regigigas really needs to come in clutch here. Oh, man, and he gets the Revenge, 140 damage. Uh, the Revenge is buffed based on how many Pokemon are in that player's PC. So, like, Regigigas really coming in super clutch, saving the game for Care Bear. And Care Bear is going to be able to set back up, get his other Regigigas out. And now we're going to go ahead and just set back up. And now the tides have turned yet again. So this match has just been going back and forth. Uh, pretty incredible matchup uh, so far. So, you know, not able to whirlwind that Regigigas just looking to cycle. We are able to confuse it. The other Regigigas moving down, going in for the attack. And we're going to be able to beat this Regigigas by 11 damage. So, uh, you know, pretty fortunate that the 180 didn't go off because that would have been pretty scary. So we're going to move up with our Noibat. We're not going to attack. We're just looking to kind of survive here. And we hit the air cutter. So we're going to get knocked out. And, uh, you know, Reggie Rock on the goal is not good. And this is why. Explosion is going to go off. Resulting in his Reggie Gigas being 0 MP. And that's GG. So, incredible matchup, Care Bear. I'm going to link him in the description. You guys know Care Bear. Go check him out. If you guys enjoyed this battle, definitely leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a new upload. And you can also follow me on Twitter at KW175 for bonus content and further discussions. And until the next one, later guys.